Hello. This time I will try to show you a simple uh, DIY project that I receive a lot of questions regarding. And uh, <clears throat> so I designed a quick uh, bandpass filter for the 137 megahertz. So you can uh, receive a meteor satellites and uh, the biggest problem are the signals affecting uh, the reception from the uh, wideband FM nearby stations or the um, uh, signals above 150 megahertz. This is the response of the filter, not perfect because <clears throat> I didn't have time to play with, uh, with the coupling capacitor but this is more than good. Uh, we can see the attenuation on the passband 137 megahertz 1.8 dB and this is okay for this frequency and uh, let's say uh, the end of the wideband FM we have 33 dB attenuation and on the other side, let's say 160 MHz, 23 dB. And then the filter is flat up to 2 GHz, minus 35. Uh, down below, on the lower edge, 80, 80, 88 MHz, we have uh, 50 dB of attenuation. Of course, we can improve this inserting another notch filter for the FM band. We can do that later. The filter is uh, built inside the standard uh, one square inch housing for the PCB and I can show you later how it looks inside. Here is the basic design that I modified <coughs> to fit the uh, standard uh, capacitor values so 4.7 picofarads, 1 picofarad and 4.7, 15, 15 and the coils are 68 nano Henry. Of course this is not a perfect uh, calculation but uh, it should work. The design is using a Butterworth uh, filter and the bandpass should be from 132 to 142 megahertz. If we look at the simulation well, we can see that the uh, simulation passband is uh, quite similar to the to the real one. So, if on one point uh, one hundred eight megahertz, the simulation show minus thirty eight point five dB. And if we check the real situation, on one hundred and eight, we have minus. 33, so 5 dB lower. Not bad. What I have done now, I add the uh, FM notch filter from my previous design in series with the bandpass filter, and this is the result. Uh, we didn't lose almost nothing in the passband characteristic, so the attenuation is the same, insertion laws, but we gain, <clears throat> let's say, 108 megahertz before we measured the attenuation on minus uh, of 33 dB, now we have a 64. On 82, we have, or 88, 90, we have uh, s almost 70 dB of attenuation. So, combining the um, uh, FM notch filter and uh, 137 bandpass, we can have uh, adequate attenuation and protection from the broadcast band. Uh, I can show you the uh, span up to 2 gigs just to see response.
So this is how the filter looks like up to 2 gigs. So we have a minus 35, minus 40 dB on 1.3 gigs, and then going up on 2 gigs. So basically you're protected <coughs> from the telephone, GSM, uh, Wi-Fi, radars, everything. You just have uh, 137 going through the filter. And this is with extra uh, notch for the FM. And at the end, this is how the filter looks inside. I use uh, Y wound coils because they didn't have the standard 68 nano Henry coils. And this is a uh, 50 ohm track with the SMD capacitors. My uh, coupling capacitor is 1.5 picofarad instead, instead of 1 pico because I didn't have it. Well, I was lazy to find the proper one. Uh, so this is how the filter looks inside. The box you can always purchase from Razzo in Canada. It's a standard uh, one square inch uh, housing for the RF. So that's it guys, simple uh, bandpass filter for 137 MHz, 984 Queen Victor.